Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing vector differentiation, basic problems and this is our question number 4. Welcome back friends, let's have a look on the given problem. Find the constants a and b so that the surfaces, this surface will be orthogonal to this surface. First of all friends, surface means scalar potential. There are two phi given. This is my phi 1. This is my phi 2. I want two constants A and B. For finding two constants A and B, I need how many equations? Two equations. Let's identify how I can get two equations for getting the values of A and B. The first condition is surfaces are orthogonal to each other. As discussed in video number one, what does this mean? Since surfaces are orthogonal to each other, this simply indicates n1 bar dot n2 bar equal to zero. We have derived this in video number one n1 bar dot n2 bar is equal to 0. This is the meaning when the surfaces are orthogonal to each other. Here friends we need to find it out n1 bar and n2 bar. n1 bar and n2 bar are normal to the surface. Let's find it out n1 bar. For that purpose we want phi1. This is the phi1 given in the problem that is ax square minus byz a plus 2x is on right hand side. We're going to take this side that will become minus ax square minus byz minus a plus 2x. This is phi 1. Through this we are going to get n1 bar. Let's find it out n1 bar which is del phi 1 i dou by dou x of phi 1 that is ax square minus byz minus a plus 2x plus j dou by dou y of phi 1, phi 1 is this, ax square minus byz minus a plus 2x plus k dou by dou z of phi 1, that is ax square minus byz minus a plus 2x. Let's differentiate. When you differentiate with respect to x, you're going to treat yz constant. Let's start. Here it is i with respect to x. a is constant x square derivative is 2x. With respect to x this is constant derivative is 0. With respect to x minus a plus 2 is constant and x derivative is 1. Let's consider the second term. With respect to y ax square constant its derivative is 0 with respect to y minus bz constant y derivative is 1 and with respect to y this entire term is constant its derivative is 0 plus k with respect to z this is constant 0 here minus by is a constant z derivative is 1 and this term derivative is 0 since it is a constant. Friends, we got n1 bar. Let's put point in n1 bar. Point provided as 1, minus 1 and 2. Let us substitute this point in n1 bar. I am going to substitute x as 1, y as minus 1 and z as 2. Let's do it. This x is 1. That means I am going to get 2a minus if i'll open the bracket this will be minus a minus 2 plus j here this z value is 2 therefore we'll get minus 2b with k y value is minus 1 therefore i'm going to get plus b in short n1 bar that we got is 2a minus a is a that is a minus 2i minus 2bj plus bk. This is the first value. 
n1 bar that I got. What is the next aim? To find it out n2 bar. For that purpose, we need a phi2. Phi2 is also provided in the problem, which is 4x square y plus z cube minus 4. 4 is this side, we're going to take this side. Let's find it out n2 bar, which is del phi2, that is i do by do x of phi2, 4x square y plus z cube minus 4 plus j, do by do y of phi2, 4x square y plus z cube minus 4 plus k, do by do z of 4x square y plus z cube minus 4. Let's differentiate with respect to x. With respect to x, 4y is a constant, x square derivative is 2x. With respect to x, this term is constant, derivative is 0. Plus j. With respect to y, here 4x square is constant, y derivative is 1, its derivative is 0. Plus k. With respect to z, derivative is 0 z cube derivative is 3z square minus 4 derivative is 0 this is n2 bar let us put point in n2 bar same point 1 minus 1 and 2 x i am going to substitute 1 y is minus 1 and z is 2 let's put it this y is minus 1 and this x is 1 therefore it will be minus 8i this x is 1, we will be left with 4 only. This z is 2, 2 square is 4, that is 12k. In short, n2 bar, we got it as minus 8i plus 4j plus 12k. I am ready with both n1 bar and n2 bar. In the question, it is given the surfaces are orthogonal to each other. What does that mean? n1 bar dot n2 bar equal to 0. This is from equation number 1. Let's write it down n1 bar here. That is a minus 2i minus 2bj plus bk. This is my n1 bar. n2 bar, we got it here. This is your n2 bar. Minus 8i plus 4j plus 12k equal to 0. Here friends, it is a dot product. What do you mean by dot product? Whatever with i will be multiplied, whatever with j will be multiplied and whatever with k will be multiplied. Therefore, with i we do have a minus 2 and minus 8. Therefore, a minus 2 will be multiplied with minus 8 plus here it is minus 2b. With j it is minus 2b and with j we do have 4 plus with k we do have b and with k we do have 12 which is equal to 0. Let's open the brackets therefore this is minus 8a plus 16. This is the simplification. Here it will be minus 8b plus 12b equal to 0. This is actually 4b. This is minus 8a, which is equal to minus 16. This is equation number 2. Friends, in the question, it is provided that the surfaces are orthogonal to each other. Therefore, n1 dot n2 bar, n1 bar dot n2 bar is equal to 0, and we got one equation. But for finding the values of a and b, actually, we need to two equations. We got one equation. How to find the second equation? This part is very important. Remember this. How to get the second equation? This is very important. For getting the second equation, there are two phi. There are two phi's provided in the problem. For getting the second equation, there are two scalar potential phi provided in the problem. If you observe that, see here, this is your first phi and this is your second phi. 
I want one more equation for a and b. Now check in which equation we do have phi, we do have a and b. In phi 1, we do have a and b. Therefore, I am going to consider phi, phi 1 for finding a and b. ax square minus byz equal to a plus 2x. This is the scalar potential. I am using this for getting the second equation. Remember this friends. Let's put this point 1 minus 1 and 2. If I'll substitute x as 1, this will be a. y is minus 1 and z is 2. Plus 2b equal to a plus 2. x is 1. a will be cancelled. 2b equal to 2. b equal to 1. We got b equal to 1. Put in equation number 2. Which is equation number 2? This is equation number 2. If I'll substitute b is equal to 1 in this particular equation, that will become minus 8a plus 4 equal to minus 16. If I'll simplify, I'll get the value of a as 5 by 2. I got both the values of a and b. Let me summarize it quickly. Here the problem was finding two values a and b. For that purpose, we need two equations. In the given problem, it was given the surfaces are orthogonal to each other. Therefore, n1 bar dot n2 bar is equal to 0. By using this condition, we got the first equation. After that, we want one more equation. So, we saw which phi, that is scalar potential has a and b. In the first scalar potential, a and b was there. We took that scalar potential. We substituted the point. In that scalar potential, we got the second equation, we simplified the equation, we got the values of a and b. Hope you understood. Thank you.